I really see this new project, The River, as an evolution from my previous two records, um, One Sky and Another Look, where One Sky was really about meticulous writing, uh, Another Look focused more on the playing and really the spontaneity and looseness of a small group. The River is, is about combining both, and that's really where I've been trying to develop my writing over the years. Combining the details, trying to say what I want to say as a composer, yet keeping that, that looseness of a small jazz group and keeping that freedom within the forms of the music. The inspiration for the river came from a tour of Africa that I did with my quartet in 2008 that was sponsored by Jazz at Lincoln Center and the U.S. Department of State. And what made this tour really special and unique from any concert tour I had ever done before in any part of the world was that this tour was about cultural exchange. It was about going into the communities of the regions that we visited and playing jam sessions, giving master classes, and performing not only in concert settings, but really performing with the musicians in these areas. And it was about making connections through music. And along the way of performing and sharing America's music, jazz, and American culture, we were getting just as much or more than what we were giving, and we were all incredibly moved by the experience. All of that had a profound effect on me and inspired me to compose when I got back home. I'm not trying to tell the stories of the people, their stories in the music. I'm trying to simply uh, give my experiences of an amazing journey in my own voice. The group that plays on the river is, is a group that I've been playing with for many years. There's Jeff Bradfield on saxophones and bass clarinet, John Wojciechowski who plays saxophones and flutes, Tito Carrillo on trumpet and flugelhorn, Lauren Cohen bass, Kobe Watkins on drums, and Samuel Torres on percussion. I've definitely been very influenced by great composer arrangers like Billy Childs, uh, Gil Evans, Vince Mendoza, Don Grolnick, among others. And one of the things I've taken from these great writers is, is how they will make whatever size group they're working with sound larger than it actually is. Often I'm conceiving the arrangement as I'm going along composing so that I'm hearing particular sounds as opposed to writing a tune or a sketch and then having the arrangement be a separate process. After listening to this album, my hope is that listeners will be transported by the journey that inspired this music and not see the music in the way that I saw it, but that they'll fill in their own images and feel the themes and the narrative of the story in their own way.